data analysis and working with data offers children interesting opportunities to gather information to find an answer to a question. An important part is realizing that you have a purpose for collecting data. For instance, what's the favorite color in a class when teachers might invite children to come and look at the different colors and indicate their choice by picking a block that represents their color. They could then line up the blocks and count them out to determine which color is the most favorite. What's your favorite? You like the pink as well? When we're recording children's data, initially we want to make sure we start with concrete objects, preferably the actual objects to represent the data. And we can move on to pictures of the objects and then gradually to more abstract symbols. We are going to vote on what materials we're going to take out outside. The teacher might invite the children to indicate the choice by putting a tally. Just the idea of their count carrying weight gets them excited about the materials. It gets them talking about it. So there's a purpose to that. And all data analysis stems from that purpose. You have to have a question. And then you try to gather information to find an answer to that question. And then the children count out their tallies. Which one has the most? The green. What's green? The bikes. When children are analyzing their data, they're going to naturally do another important math concept, which is comparison, comparison of groups. And so data analysis builds the bridge between these two important concepts. Adults can provide daily opportunities for children to engage in this process. Your choices are, your answer is either yes, the child did see a dog, or no, the child did not see a dog. A sign-in chart provides a meaningful display of data that can be observed and compared. Is there anybody still at home today? No. Children can answer a daily question to create a graph that can be discussed as a group. Which one is the triangle? Once children have experience comparing data, they can be supported to integrate this strategy on their own during playtime. My kids, they started doing their own ta their own surveys, and so they started going around with clipboards. They came up with their own questions, and so and then they had kids write their names, and they found out you know who likes dogs, who likes cats. So they became interested in each other. All right, there's oh. another yes. So there's ten yeses. Now there's ten yeses, and there's four no's. So how many do we have all together? <laughs> all right, let's count now. After children have collected data, a teacher should invite children to discuss, to observe, to describe what they see, and to engage in an analysis of their data.